Hey everybody, it's Goody, and today I have the Monster High Monster Family of Claudine Wolf. I have this three pack which features Claudine, her little brother, and a little baby sister, and then I have the single pack which is just a little sister of hers. I am so excited to get these out of the box. Let's get a quick look at this and we'll rip them open. So let's see, the little baby wolf's name is Meredith. We know Claudine, Paula is the separate box and the boy is Barker. And there's some cute pictures. Here's the other sets of the Monster High families, which I'll put links to those in case you wanna check those out. I really like the little bone barrettes in her hair. And the little girl has a bottle and the little boy has a little sleepy mask. They are all getting ready for bed and in their jammies. Let's get them out. And there's the background, which has a little bathroom sink, I guess for brushing your teeth, getting ready for bed, a little towel, a little coffin-shaped mirror. Pretty cute. <gasps> Let's start with Claudine. I have to say, I really love this Claudine. I love the little neon bone barrettes in her hair. And they really do snap like barrettes. They're not just pinned into her hair. And she's got some brunette with purple in it and her ears come are built right into her head all one piece and her makeup is kind of understated I guess since she's getting ready for bed and she's got some pajamas on a little tank and there's a velcro fasten in the back her arms are not articulated at the elbows and she has molded on fur on her wrists here so I wanted to see if there was fur anywhere else no and it looks like her pajama bottoms are elastic waist and there's a cute little purple bow here they're actually really quite cute little animal print on them and her ankles have that molded fur again and then she's got some bed slippers on and we've seen these before a little more simple than the ones I've seen that have actual little faces on them. And her knees are not articulated. You know, I've got to say I like articulation because I like to pose my dolls in all kinds of crazy positions and little dioramas. But I've heard from a lot of you that some of you like the look of the unarticulated because it's you don't see that break in their arm or knee. And you know, I got to say I, I do have an appreciation for that. It is beautiful that you don't have to look at that weird little hinge on their elbows. Well, I think she's pretty cute. All right, let's see her siblings. Let's start with Barker. Oh my word. He is so cute with his molded on blonde hair with a little blue streak on his forehead. He's got some piercing green eyes. He does have this kind of weird arm. It kind of reminds me of like a lobster claw because his arm is kind of skinny here. And then it gets really big and poofy here. I guess it's fur. This one you can see how it gets bigger on the end even more so. And he has molded on fur all the way up to his knees almost. <laughs> Little claw feet. And he has elastic waist shorts. He's got little molded on underwear too. And a little tank here. Oh, he's got a tail. So the tail kind of goes above his little bum here. And it moves. It's pretty thick. Why doesn't Claudine have a tail? It's kind of weird. And his little tank has a Velcro facet in the back. So his arms do move and his legs move, just not his knees and elbows. Which for a tiny doll, I really wouldn't expect that. He came with this cute little sleep mask. Looks kind of like there's teeth. Little creature. Hmm. Well, I guess if you were gonna put it on his face, he'd be sleeping, so it would stay on better. Let's see if it just stays on above his head. Not really. I like his little ears, though. He's pretty cute. 
So he has his arm in this weird position, so he must be able to hold something, maybe his baby sister. And he came with this bone fang brush, so he can brush his fangs before bed. And then here we have, I said Meredith, but it's Weredith, like werewolf, Weredith, of course it is, hello. She's pretty cute. I like how this part of the paint is shiny and this part's flat. She's got really sharp looking little fangs there. And a little tuft of purple hair. It's plastic molded, but it's supposed to be hair with a little pink bow. And her outfit is painted on. A little diaper there. And she's got little paws and molded fur on her arms. I mean, she's really looking wolfy. I wonder if you start out really wolfy and then as you grow up you become more human-like in the monster world. So her legs move like that so she can sit down and she came with a little bottle that she can hold. I wish she had like a little hole so you could feed her. Let's see if Barker can hold Weredith in his little bent arm here. That tail might get in the way, her cute little tail. Move. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cute. And I forgot, Claudine came with this little towel. I'm guessing to a little hand towel in the bathroom for getting ready for bed. And I don't want to forget Paula all by herself in this little box. Looks like she's got a teddy bear and a little book. Let's get her out. And here's little Miss Paula. She's got pigtails and she has brunette hair with an aqua highlight and she's got a purple sleep mask on. A little less creepy than her brother's. Oh look at her sweet little face. She has little tiny little freckles kind of under her eyes. She's got that weird lobster claw hook arm here, but I'm guessing that's to hold her little teddy bear. We'll get to in a second. And very similar to Barker here. It looks like same mold exactly, just a little bit different color plastic. And she has a little bow necklace on. And this is pretty cute nightgown actually with the little ruffle around the bottom. She's got a nice big chunky tail in the back, really making me wonder what happened to Claudine's. Maybe she had it removed for cosmetic purposes. I don't know. Velcro fasten and a little room for the tail to go through. And just like Barker, she's got the fur almost up to her knees. Are they the same size? Yeah, they, they could be twins. Maybe they are. They look to be the same age. She came with this cute little teddy bear. And she came with a little book. Looks like it has a tongue coming out of it and crescent moon and star. And it looks to open. Yes, it does. And she also came with a little pillow. It has kind of a creepy face on it. It's pretty cute. I like that they're all themed the same theme so you can mix and match some of the accessories. She could hold the baby too, or he could hold the teddy bear. Let's see. She can get it, I'm guessing. Oh, that's pretty cute. The pillow's kind of funny, weird shape. It's pretty tiny. <laughs> Maybe it's a snuggly pillow that you just like to snuggle with. So those are some pretty cute accessories, I gotta say. I know not everybody likes the monster family thing. And they want to know where do these characters come from out of nowhere, but I think it's fine. I mean, I don't really care about animated series. I'm more into the dolls, so as dolls, their story can constantly evolve and change. Anyway, I really love them. Gosh, if I had to pick a favorite, I think I like Barker just because it's a little boy and that's kind of rare. But uh, Weredith's pretty cute too. I don't know. I think I just like them all as a group. I think they're pretty darling. Okay, everybody, let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And bye for now.